Hello children. Today let us learn a comprehension for the poem Not Just a Teacher But a Friend from Unit 3 Part B. Here are a few points to be remembered in order to make an effective comprehension. Kindly go through them before you attempt the comprehension. On to the passage here. Even though sometimes you don't have time, you at least ask me if I'm fine. Even though sometimes I'm not, I feel like I have just been shot. I smile and say, yes, I'm all right. Then I walk away and you are out of sight. I'll just have to wait, still I have my fate. I'm so glad that you were there when I was sad. And this is what makes you not just my ninth grade teacher, my friend. So here we see in this poem that the boy is very much grateful to his teacher who was his ninth grade teacher. When the boy was in utter despair, he was in a helpless condition, a hopeless condition. He was uh, so sad and he wanted to hide somewhere. That was a moment when the teacher came and picked him and uh, he consoled, convinced, supported, strengthened him and gave him the hope. And this made him uh, endure in his life. And then as he had finished the ninth grade and he was on to the next class, he felt that the teacher would forget or the bondage between the teacher and him would soon fade away. But he was wrong. Even when the child had moved to the next grade, the teacher was there as he was the previous year. Whenever he looked at the child, he would ask how he was. He would inquire his uh, well-being. And, and this was what made the child uh, the, a, a very lucky child to have had such a, a nice teacher who always wishes his uh, well-being. On to the comprehension here. Choose the correct answer. Even though sometimes... This implies that the teacher is. So you see in the passage here, even though sometimes you don't have time, you at least ask me if I am a fine. So here in this line, this implies that the teacher is lazy, busy, crazy, drowsy. So, as per the passage, it shows that even though you do not have time, that means the teacher is very busy. What is the antonym of the word friend? Antonym means opposite. Is it for, companion, well-wisher, befriend? Yes, the right answer is for. F-O-E. For means enemy. The opposite of friend is enemy. The other word for enemy is foe. On to the next question. The student will have to wait till his fate improves, till the student becomes a teacher, till he sees a teacher the next time, till he reaches his home. The right answer is till he sees the teacher the next time. So he says, I will have to wait. Wait for what? Wait for the arrival of the teacher next time. Next time when the teacher would uh, greet him, the teacher would ask him if he was uh, fine. So he need to wait for that a uh, moment. On to the question and answers. Is a poet right in calling the teacher his friend? Why? Why not? So here you have a choice. You can either say yes, that poet is right in calling the teacher his friend. You can also say no, the poet is not right. According to your own interpretation, you need to write the answer here. So here I have written it this way. Yes, the poet is right in calling his teacher his friend because the teacher helped him come out of his grief. Grief means sadness, sorrow. 
and always inquires about his well-being. So he always uh, sees to it that the child is happy. He is uh, good, hale and healthy. So this is what makes uh, uh, the teacher as a good friend because a friend is the one who always sees to it that his friend is fit and fine, always good, happy, cheerful and in all the way fit and fine. On to the next question. Why is the poet glad? Why is he happy? Glad means happy. The poet is glad to have had such a caring teacher as his ninth grade teacher. He is happy because he had such a wonderful teacher who cares for him uh, so much. Hope you all understood how to make the comprehension. Thank you children. Thank you for watching. And do not forget to comment in the comment box below. And do click the like button over there. Thank you children.